So cosmic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tetra Ninja, and I would like to officially begin the video game season with this Let's Play walkthrough of Control. And I will be honest with you, I have no idea. Zero zilch nada. I have no idea whatsoever what this game is about. All I know is that it's made by Remedy. The last game that you guys probably heard of that they made was Quantum Break. And I, this game kind of seems like it's kind of in the same vein. Powers, all that good stuff. So, yeah, this is going to be a Let's Play walkthrough of the game the entire way through. Like I said earlier, I think this is going to really kick us off into the video game season. There's no looking back now until we reach 2020. Where, where did the year go? Honestly, where did the year go? Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the series. As always, if you guys enjoy, thumbs up are greatly appreciated. This is the PC version of the game. If you want my specs, as always, you can find them in the description. And let's get this video game season going. Wow, just, just dropped with a thud the energy right there. Let's go. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, Sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen, freak out. And try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Beginning of this game asking us all these existential questions that I have no answers to. I'm just I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy who plays games. I can't offer you anything more than that. Okay. Got some spooky vibes going on. Nothing is spookier than a completely empty building. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Let's file this under R for Arrivederci. Simpsons fans will get would know that one. Oh, look at me sprint! Damn girl, how you fitting those jeans though? Pushing those jeans to the absolute limit. 
Well, game runs smooth. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Definitely gives me those Quantum Break vibes. All we need is just Iceman to show himself. Iceman actually has a new game coming out this week. Man of Medan playing that game as well on the channel as well. Look forward to that. Collect them Forget what Iceman's real name is. Something Ashmore. Something Ashmore. Hello? Back. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they... they Element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound when you are out. Sean Ashmore. Got enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. Did you just read my mind? That said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Dude, this butt, this butt's too cute to be a janitor, man. Okay, up we go. How do you jump down? Break an ankle. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? So cosmic. Kind of getting those evil within vibes as well. This is what I get when I enter a video game completely blind. I think it's a good thing though. I don't have any expectations. Pre depositions. Title screen hypey! See Ubisoft? Got a title screen Did in the I first lose you there for a moment? ten minutes. You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Not like an hour for some games to get a damn title screen. Back. Please stop that. Proceed deeper into the bureau. You need a level one key? Don't got a flashlight of any sort. Speaking of flashlights, I was really hoping that they would have announced a new Alan Wake game this year at the Xbox press conference. They, they showed like a trailer, which I definitely thought was Alan Wake. And 
now it's just disappointment after. <laughs> just investigate the noise. That's always like the number one thing you don't do in a horror game. Don't investigate the noise. Just walk away. Just walk away from the noise. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Hey, a little bit of Beyond Two Souls. Do we have a ghost friend? Never know, never know. That's a big gun. The guns talk to me. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> We've entered the vault of glass. I have no idea what's going on right now. Please make the jump. Parkour! Oh. Oh! Dang! Huga. The same gun. Got them soft hands. <laughs> Exotic hand cannon. Oh, baby. Okay. Now I have a gun. Well, the gun auto reloads. Dang. <laughs> Bitch, creeping around the corner like this. One two punch. The one two punch. You can. Hey! It's not a blue stuff, but your guys are dropping. What is this? Oh, they got guns left! He's got a gun! Sit down. The blue stuff is health. Touch the anomaly. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? 
I'm happy. Happy to be here. Just happy Things to be are here. down outside. Is it safe to go? Holy shit. Level one clearance. Enemies everywhere. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guidelines. The finger. Oh. Is that the dead man? Okay. Give me that hotline bling. Oh, Jesus, dude. Just running around the corner shooting like that. Now with ankles. What was that? I perceive like everything in this game is trying to kill me right now. Boost. No, no, put that back in there. Put the back in there. Always, always close the door behind you. your enemy all right it's our enemy that babble's contagious it burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over don't know if we are crazy or badass a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, you know? Okay. Let's go down the... Can we go down this way? Secret path. Nope. So you got a log jam in there. Oh, you're bad. Your aim's bad. Oh, 
shit. Ah. Ah! Don't no, shoot me! Kite for the health. Kite for the health! Oh, wow! Saying is seeing people float around, you know? Okay. Please talk to me. We. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, a Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. What? Hold on. We're coming out. That was a that was a janitor. Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss that works. Somehow the Hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The Hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the Hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay, you with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out.
Any goodies, you guys got stashed back here or what? Collectibles? What type of outfits do we have? Civilian. Central Executive. This guy? it out rips them apart I can't cleanse them I saw it was worth a shot thank you director Jesse I'm gonna tell her why I'm here I'll risk it listen the bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown ordinary 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. I just want to be... Part of that world. Red telephone. Got a good voice actress and an actor for the character of Jesse, Courtney Hope. Never heard of her before this game, but she did a pretty solid job in my personal opinion. I know this is all new to you, so 
Don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. The hotline should be in the communications department. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The his escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the his to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Who are you talking to? This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all... Well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? <laughs> Got it. She got so excited Thanks. explaining it to us. She looks so happy. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. All right. Like, who exactly is opening that door right now? Communications department. There it is again. Our welcome message. Reaper. Need that level one key card. I swear to God, if you grab my leg. Material. 
Alright. Let's go. Let us boogie. Quick draw. What the hell? What? Yes, it's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. Don't go down red hallways. Gotcha. Gotcha. Headshots for days, bros. Serve ammo with the headshots. Mine. Trip to the little girl's room. Okay then. Let's see this map. This way. Power up. Personal mods. Yeah, like Get on the shield first, then shoot. The one, two punch. Ah. WWE man, you don't know, just throw chairs at people like that. And just awful. Cleanse! Kinda takes that out of me every single time I cleanse a room. Level two door. I don't even have a level one key yet. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disc held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disc, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Oh, floppy disks. Something that I don't look... Communications are on the right track. Look forward to trying to explain to my future children exactly what they are. 
it just make me feel very depressed when I have to do it. <laughs> Came from there. This feels like a slide mechanic. Sliding all over the place. Creepy talking is kind of unnecessary, but didn't hurt. The heck was that? Got mow up by a tube. All right, here's a good time to equip a new mods. Personal mods: we got health recovery twenty percent, health boost twenty percent, health boost, and elemental pickup. It's not even a choice. Ammo refund. Nah, nah, we're good. An object of power. Looks like the hiss have latched onto it. We need to cleanse it. Holy shit. Ain't no time for crouching, man. We gotta sprint across. Go! Go! My floppy. Some games have an apple of Eden, some people have a floppy disk of for their power. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. More power. <laughs> Gotta slot that in there. Make sure I don't want to don't jump off. I kind of want to jump off just to have a force science moment. Woof. Ass 
astral plane challenge. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Focus against guys with shields. Love the sound that makes. <laughs> Sit down. A rocket? What the heck? Oh my god. Hiding in the corner. said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Dude, stop with the creepy talking man. No, thank you, nah. So many collectibles. Got like Jedi mind tricks here. Must open the door. Claim this point. We got the level one key card. Life's good. Keep heading towards the mail room here. Shelter. You know you work in a dangerous work environment when there are shelters everywhere. <laughs> Craziness. Just in case, if you missed it, there is another one. Thank you. Uh, 
turn very quickly. Don't get up. Oh. Oh, wow. Ah. Went uh, a little bit too hamburger in there. Okay. It didn't show that guy the respect he de he demanded. Goes through this door actually. Oh, that's the mail room, so that probably will proceed the script. Uh, proceed the scene. I don't want to do that quite yet. Let's go up here. Close. Second time. That was a close one. Oh, just for this thing? Better be damn good. Thinking that I will not be able to enter this now. Blocked. Blocked by the purple goo. Alright, downstairs. Now we'll go. Into the mail room. That's kinda creepy. They can fly now. Great. Tamasi? I don't see them. I scared. Oh, wow. No, careful, 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 careful. Heels, bros, the heels. I can help back. Reload. Ooh, careful, be careful. Oh, 
for you, son of a bitch. Oh, we're, we're both about basically the same amount of health left. Take the high ground. Take the high ground. Why can't I fly? Why can't I fly? Oh, hide behind the rocks. Oh, my, wow. Yeah, you better run. That's close. I have a feeling he'll be back. Cool. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. I thought he definitely killed me there, but survived by the skin of my teeth. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. All right, take got him. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an altered item would show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Mm -hmm. The hotline can't be far now. Line bling. Man, that text popping up always throws me for a loop. Oh my god, what the- Wow. a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar this feels like all of them like something recognized from a dream hello anyone here this catalyst is the light switch law of three apples Don't know what you mean, three apples. Oh, I see. When you rang the doorbell, the key has a black pyramid on it. Ring the chime three times. Hell. 
One. You do everything three times. Two. Three. Yeah. Astral Plane Challenge. New power? The heck is that thing? It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. I can make use of uh, fast travel. People troubles, react right? strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Yeah, but thank you, Cuckoo, for Poker Pops. Quick draw. Boardroom? Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? 
It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. comes back to the janitor points unknown caller hi Jesse nope thanks Emily I'm sure I'll have more questions soon just let me know let's go to do you hear that someone's singing where's it coming from singing sounds like it's coming from the elevator Brings up a lot of new questions. Communicating, coordinating. Let's see. We got four. Do this all evenly. Four ability points. Meeting. Four what uses. About the Scatter shot. Oh, I can make mods. Need something called the power plan is low. confidential no use guessing the hisses motives if we don't even know what kind of energy what do you mean it has to be a fusion reactor there's no other way to create that kind of energy output right such a way for time to work meet me in the main god creepy 
Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into Whoa. the office house with the lockdown one. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? Turned it into a shotgun. Need level two key. Do not gots. Want to try this the thing? The tutorial override is right there in the control room. How do we get there? They ain't not gonna make it easy, lady. Want to try a scatter shot though? about dying no problems push back walls lot of guys Where are you at Ati? to like kill all these guys. What the hell?
that was straight nightmare fuel. I don't know what's going on. But I scurred. Drawing the pyramid. The what? The pyramid. What's a pyramid? The black pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? It's a weird, crazy alien dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. Magnus, my home! Heck. Okay, I gotta find out the source of this light. Object of power. An object of power. How do you think it got down here? Oh, oh huh. I, thought I, I definitely thought I died there for a second. A carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? That's what I'm saying. Get the double jump. Neon. Sometimes kind of air dash. Dash. 
Ate? Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. Yeah, yeah, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Now, Magnus, on perkele suora, that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, perkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the pant around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. <laughs> Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Yay, key card level two. Yep. Burn the dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose. Burn in the trash. This guy's like talking in tongues. I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. That's the office. Bo -bo Denied. Right, first things first, we find the furnace. Then we work from there. If I remember how to actually get back to his off. Ah, there you go. Just turned around all of a sudden. Shortcut. There you go.
Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. Let's see if I can find this furnace. So I'm there. We're going the right way. It's the furnace is down here to the left. Right. That's cre creepy as hell, but okay. There we go. in the security booth. He's in charge here. Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a sick? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure. Ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> Uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Blockages in pipes C through F. Is the clock back? Now? Oh man, Adi is gonna be so pissed. Not exactly sure where I'm supposed to be going, but... I'm sure if we just keep proceeding. Aha! That's travel pack point.
coolant pumps. Let's do the coolant pumps first. Ah, no, these guys. Oh, get back. You guys screw off? Oh no! Jesus. Furnace chamber. Where I need to be. Power cut. Replace the farm. Boom. Bail, I had to think about that. guys call a hunch you know Zach. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher. I might have to re-listen to that tape again. By you crash, did Atim barrels full of hazardous biological material? Seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Atim wants, then I'll get it done. Search for green goo. Oh no. Need the green goo though. Ow, ow, ow! Fuck! The green goo is how the Ninja Turtles are made, dude. Still up here. <laughs> I'm 
almost there. A little more. Too much, take it back. I have no idea what just happened there. Nice. Now let's listen to this. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Parakinesiology Department. I believe I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the Bureau itself. Right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you need? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. What? Got an air dash from that platform. It eats people. Oh wow. Dirt bag. Alright. Back out. The pumps were around this corner, right? Come down. Keep like by habit reloading my gun. It's not years where the habit's not gonna be broken by one game. Okay, there's a generator. Generator cube. Another generator cube. My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with them. He is very clever. Oh! He caught him more with his hand in the fist. Is on me. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Please don't. Oh, no. And I patient with that. What? I don't know what just happened. Okay, 
get back to the coolant pumps again. We need to fix this thing ASAP. At least the guards are all gone. Charge fist there. What the heck? TV right there. Done. Oh. this time oh not this time eye out for something that's gonna shoot you with goo. Threshold remnant. I'm pretty sure that that was something I needed for an upgrade. We need to hurry.
off all the pumps. Got that one, I got that one. There must be a third one. Well, probably this gigantic ass thing. Take it off. There's another guy in there somewhere, I just can't see him. He won't let me leave. Big guy coming in. Throw lots of stuff at you. Let's not let those shields get back up. somewhere. I know what I'm not doing is I'm not gonna try to run down there and melee him. Oh shit. Cut me off. Coming up! Go through the control room. Right? Uh, maybe take the elevator. I'll see. I'll take the elevator. It came down. Must be a recent. Did it? 
Is that a woman? Oh no, the senior officer. Oh, reloading. Oh my god, no, no, no. Go back up top. Get back up top. Hold this shit down. Down one more. Blanking. Push up. Did I get it all clear? Got it. Here. Okay, what are you shooting? When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest, these are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, Keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much, that thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. He's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? I should be going. Try to stay Bryce, alive. You got a lockdown to lift. Alright. NSC overrides.
control room. Oh, come on, what? Killing in the corner like that. Okay. Converters. Bastards. Hey, we're back. Take place to parts. Branch path. Can't go there yet. No, I want the box. It's fried up. You need to fix it before the old big pants inside the plant. Oh, what the heck? You weren't dead yet? Five more. The auto reload's nice, but it can kind of get you caught in some bad situations. Oh my god, it's a rocket! Woo! Where's the son of a bitch? Oh my god, there he is. Smoke just here. Where's the son of a bitch shooting rockets at me? Found him.
Oh. Almost died there. Almost. Two. Where's the third slot? It's probably on top. Shit. Me and the director. This is what we came here to do. The gun is the key. it the other sector should be open now I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here I'll risk it back to Emily the internal lockdown let's talk Emily yes listen Emily screw it just tell her I haven't been completely honest I have a younger brother Dylan when we were kids we found an old slide projector in ordinary's landfill the slides created doorways to other places. 
bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came, tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron Resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my keycard. The sector elevator will take you there. Level three! Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. And it's big! We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Oh God, no. Old boys club. Okay, find the marshal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be it for the first episode of Patrol. Made the first episode super long. Get us going, but I still don't really know exactly what's kind of going on all together. What exactly this is are. All we know is that we're looking for a brother who seems to have similar powers as us. So, find out in the next episode. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, thumbs up is greatly appreciated. If you're new, feel free to subscribe as well to stay up to date with the series. And I will see you guys next time. As always, have a fantastic day.